Hi everybody and welcome to today's short session. So we have covered the daylight mode, we have done woods and true UV. You now understand what you can see or use to what you can diagnose under woods and true UV. So what are those diagnostic values that you're chasing and trying to find and compare that against daylight mode and assess what you can see with your naked eye and what lurks beneath the skin when you're putting them under either woods or true UV. So that is fantastic. I'm glad that you have a wrap on that and super useful tools, right? The woods technology has been around for over a hundred years. Yes, back in 1903. So that's a long time for a technology to be available. And I think it is just so wonderful that we can have it on our industry and utilize it in our clinics. So today what we're going to do is leave behind the dark side and come to the light of cross polarization. So I will switch screens to screen share my iPad with you. Okay, so this is where we kind of left off yesterday, the woods and the true UV, okay? And we're going to move into cross-polarized mode, which is this one here. So what does cross-polarization do? Well, it employs the science of the Brewster's angle, um, to which you can go and do a Wikipedia search for. So the Brewster's angle really means that we are removing the glare. So it changes the way that the light bounces back or reflects back off the skin. Okay, so by removing the glare, essentially, um, we can look into the deeper layers of the skin um, and see more clearly the extent of inflammation, cuperosis, vascular damage, telangiectasia. Um, if you have an acne client, you can see the inflammation associated with that. The same goes for rosacea. So it's a super useful tool to see what's actually going on or the extent of what that inflammation is for your client. So that might alter the way that you decide to do certain treatments. Um, if the inflammation is vast, then you might want to take time to do anti-inflammatory home care first, repair that skin barrier function, and then get them in for clinical services to address if the remaining vascularity. The more inflammation there is, the harder it is going to be for certain technologies or, you know, treatment methodologies that you've got in clinic to really seek the target of the vessels or the, va um, the veins themselves. So this is a great example, as you can see on the chin. Sure, you can see under the daylight mode that there is some redness in the, chi in the chin area, but when you really removing the glare and taking your clients to a journey beneath the skin, you can now clearly see the vascular damage on the chin with the inflammation that is sitting right behind it. So if I were to do a treatment plan for this client, my first step would be to control the inflammation and it doesn't matter what treatment I follow up with, it's just gonna have a much better end result because the inflammation is gone and it makes my target more clear. You would understand exactly what I mean if you were doing things like um, vein sclerotherapy as a simple example in clinic. Removing the glare really allows you to see the target more clearly. And as you start to do treatments, the more inflammation there is within the skin, sometimes the harder these targets are to see. So um, I really like how this light mode really helps my mind's eye to understand that much more clearly. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that for today, and I really hope that you two are all excited about the power of cross-polarization, and tomorrow we will discuss parallel polarization.